So today's Saudi league clash between Al Nassar and Al Batin, along with four goals and plenty of drama, actually brought a lesson in sports science for all to absorb. That being, always warm up. Because clearly these guys didn't. And as a result, the first quarter of an hour saw Al Nassar play a very patient game, which I'm sure you all know is just a politically correct term for pissing boring. All that changed in the 16th minute though, when the Al Nassar defender remembered that he in fact hadn't warmed up and decided to do his star jumps routine mid game, allowing this to be exploited by the Albarton centre forward Renzo Lopez, which, if I may add, is a stupid name. Renzo? Either add an LO at the start or take the R away mate, you don't get a choice in this. And though this did wake Al Nassar up, they couldn't do much for large parts of the first half. And yes, that includes Ronaldo, who didn't really seem at it either. Not sure why? I'm guessing he was occupied with some guy in the crowd swearing at him, something he decided to avenge by booting the ball at him just before the break. Please stop taking free kicks. And despite picking up the pace following Ronnie's cathartic gesture, the side was mainly shut out and left frustrated and, as the clock ticked on, it didn't seem like it was going to be their day, causing not only the fans to lose hope, but even the commentator too, who at one point stopped talking about the game and instead began sharing personal and unnecessarily intimate information about he and his wife's pastime. 66 minutes on the clock. Damn, that's a long time. And it wasn't actually until the 93rd minute the league leaders found a response. And off flipping course, it was my man here with that response. Told you he was my favourite player. And I promise, one more great performance from him and I'll actually learn his name. And despite Ronaldo playing no part in that goal, we were then witness to what seemed to be akin to a chemical conversion of Captain Chris's chronic clutchness and calming custom of carrying his club and country to courageous comebacks into his current colleagues who collected another crucial couple as keeper Campania was incapable of stopping Rudy Garcia's side climbing back up the table. Ergo all in all, it was a game which, despite asking plenty of questions, when it was all said and done, left none of them without an answer. Apart from one, where the fuck is Anderson Taliska? Seriously, show yourself fam. And that is that. Agree or disagree beats indifference. But before I show myself out, let me request you to once again like, comment and share. And of course, subscribe. Till next time, you keep rolling.